How are you doing tonight, America? I'm here with the beautiful, deer hunting Sarah Palin. Oh, Larry, you forgot about grizzly bears. <laughs> so, what are you here for? I heard that you were planning on running for president this time. That's true. I'm actually here to show the American people that I actually am a good choice by showing that I have knowledge over various topics in U.S. history. Okay. Well, here I have a question from one of our viewers, Mr. Theory. His question is as follows. Consider the rapid rise of the populace in both the West and the South nearing the end of the 19th century. What do you say to that? Good question, sir. Well, the populist movement started as a farmer's alliance. This alliance was a stand taken by the farmers in the late 1870s. By forming an alliance, they sought to fight the railroads and other corporations that held them back through the means of buying and selling. Mother Nature as well prompted them to form such an alliance, for the farmers weren't doing that great. Local chapters spread out, and by 1890, they were a million people in this alliance. It didn't accept colored people, so it made itself weak there. Through this farmer's alliance, came the populist party. What they sought, was to nationalize railroads, communication, a graduated income tax, and a new sub-treasury a scheme to get the money. They also wanted the unlimited coinage of silver, as a way to cause inflation and solve all their problems. And although the Democrats and Republicans thought of them as a joke, they posed a threat. These people were very impassioned about their miseries, winning several seats in Congress, and polling more than one million votes for their presidential candidate, James B. Weaver. True, due to the racial segregation in the South, they weren't doing as good, but their ranks were swelling in the West. Wow. Um, I'm guessing that is the right answer. Oh, would you look at the time? It's time for us to go. Good night, America. Bye and remember, vote for me.